Hey, I'm it. Tonight we're going to make a Rhode Island clam chowder. Okay, just got back from the grocery store with our ingredients for our Rhode Island clam chowder. So, you know, uh, you know, traditional New England clam chowder is kind of dairy-based, milk-based, and Manhattan clam chowder uh, is kind of tomato and spicy. Rhode Island clam chowder is usually just either clam broth straight or with chicken stock. That's what we're going to do today. So, we just got some celery, bay, leaf, parsley, some onion, some potatoes, bacon or pancetta, I'm going to use pancetta, some clams, look if you have fresh clams that's awesome but this is easier, either canned or uh, these are fresh raw clams in some of their own juice, some butter, salt pepper and our chicken stock. Celery, we need little bite sized pieces so I'm just going to split these down the middle, trim the ends a little bit and chop them into small squares. Uh, next step is to chop up our onion. You can use two small onions that, like I have or one bigger one. It doesn't really matter. of a medium chop quarter inch square or something like that. Uh, next come the potatoes. I'm gonna prep these guys. Same thing, just like bite-sized cubes, so I'm just gonna you know not tiny pieces but small pieces so that you can fit on a spoon when you're eating the soup. Okay, we're off to the stock pot. We're going to uh, render out some fat from the pancetta with some butter and then we'll take that out and then we're going to sweat the onions and the celery and then we'll add the potatoes and the liquid and then right at the end we're just going to heat up the clams. I don't want them to get all shriveled up and rubbery. Okay, here comes our butter and pancetta. Like I said, you definitely could use bacon instead of the pancetta, that would be fine. I just happen to like pancetta. And I'm going to take the pieces out when they're brown uh, and then put them back when the soup's almost finished. Okay, here we go. Let's remove our pancetta. You can see it's nice and browned. Like I said, we're going to put it back later, uh, towards the end. And obviously we leave the fat in, this is what we're going to cook the onion and the celery in right now. Okay, so we exit the bacon or pancetta and we enter the celery and the onions. We just want to sweat this down so that it's soft. We don't want to brown them. So not, not too high heat, kind of a medium, medium low. Should take about five minutes. Now this would be a good time to add a little bit of uh, kosher salt just to help get some of the moisture out of the veggies and uh, concentrate the flavors a little. Okay, so our uh, onions and celery have softened up nicely. I'm going to add the potatoes and the bay leaf here. And then we are going to mix that up a little. I'm going to add our chicken stock, just using a one quart box for simplicity's sake. You can always add some more stock if you think it's not enough at the end. Or some more water, doesn't really matter. So I'm going to bring this kind of to a boil. I'm not going to boil it. We're going to let it simmer just until the potatoes get soft. We don't want them falling apart and just turning into mush. So, back in a few minutes. 
Okay, here we go. Our potatoes are nice and cooked. I'm going to add the clams and the juice. If you want it to be really clammy, you could add another bottle of clam juice that you can get in the supermarket. I think this is looking a little good. This one's very thick. Again, if you like it a little bit thinner, you could just thin it out with some more chicken stock or even some water. And then last step, I'm going to add back the pancetta. And I'm going to turn the heat off basically and just let this sit for a while and then reheat it when I'm ready to serve it. That way the flavors will meld and the clam flavor will come out. And then we'll just finish it with some parsley. Okay, final step. I got our soup in a bowl. I'm going to just finish it with some parsley, some fresh pepper, and just a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. There you have it. Rhode Island clam chowder. Enjoy!